hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm excited because once again I'm gonna show you all of the groceries that I have at the table here that I just got from my Walmart grocery delivery and I'm gonna show you how I was able to save money by staying under my $180 weekly grocery budget how much I'm able to save this week which wasn't as much as last week but we can't always stay way under our grocery budget without every so often it bouncing back a little bit but I want to show you like the logistics of it so you can see how by shopping your fridge your freezer and your pantry you can always stay under budget and anyone that's taking part in my savings challenge this year which that's what it turned into because all of your wonderful comments telling me like you want you're on board we're gonna do this together and I'm like yeah let's kill it let's save some money in 2021 so I'm going to show you not only what I was able to save this week, but then I'm going to give you a grand total of the last two weeks so that you can see how much I've saved so far this month. So let me show you what I've got. And if you're new to Walmart grocery, either delivery or pickup, and you want to give it a try, if you use my referral link down below, you get $10 off your first order. So right there, you're a little bit above the budget. <laughs> anyway, let me show you what I got. So from Walmart, I got these two bunches of bananas, and as usual, they gave me some green ones, which are awesome, because that way, they'll, hopefully, they'll last a little longer. I have this big package of organic carrots, and some apples, uh, what is it, three pounds, that's awesome. For my coffee, as usual, I got my whipping cream, and a little dollop of cream on top, and I got these two plain Greek yogurts for my husband, because we have one in the fridge and we go through about three a week. This was the first time I've ever seen this and I was kind of glad because if they don't have the gallons of organic milk, normally they, I just don't get milk at all and then we have to scramble and figure out what we're gonna do. But I ordered three gallons of milk hoping that I could put one in the freezer and instead they gave me six half gallons. So I'm like, thank you. <laughs> so at least my little Emily isn't gonna freak out that we don't have milk. And of course for Emily, we got her Cheerios. I was looking in my pantry and I was out of diced tomatoes and these were actually on sale for 33 cents a piece. So I got four. I was out of cornstarch, which almost never happens. And I wanted a small thing and this was a substitution. They gave me 16 ounces, so that's pretty awesome. We were out of sour cream. I'm gonna make tacos this week. I was gonna make it last week, but I actually was able to stretch my groceries so I didn't need to, so that's an extra meal. I got my tea, finally they had my chamomile, so I'm so happy about that. For my salads, I wanted some black olives, so I got two cans. We were out of sugar, which again, doesn't really happen often, so I got the big package, and this is, actually, I did not get the big package. This is the four pound, I think they had a 10 pound, but I don't need all that sugar. For my husband, I got his Quaker Oats cereal. Snacks for us, I got two packages of the um, sweet and salty almond bars. We go through these like crazy. So the 12 pack was finally back on sale. So I got a package of the 12 and a package of the six. I'm gonna be making soup this week because it's so cold outside. And so I got three containers of the reduced sodium organic chicken broth. My husband was out of his extra virgin olive oil. For the tacos, I only have a little bit of salsa in the fridge and we go through a little bit of it, so I got the big jar. It was actually on sale, so that's awesome. I still have a little bit of ketchup left, but I know it's not gonna last a week, so we got one container of ketchup. I'm out of grated cheese, so I got one of those. I like to keep an extra jar of sauce in my pantry just in case I'm gonna make like a quick pizza or a quick pasta at the last minute. So I just got one, and it was only $1.20, which is awesome. I never do this, but the kids asked me for some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm like, yeah, when was the last time we even had that? So I got a jar of the peanut butter and the container of the jelly. For my tea, of course, I got my honey. My husband and I were out of our favorite snack. I'm like, yeah, that can't happen. <laughs> so I got a big jar of the original popcorn and of course our favorite seasoning, the ranch. If you guys have tried this, please let me know in the comment section down below. We love this. Brian wanted some crackers for his snack for the week. Emily, of course, still with her bears. She's a creature of habit. She doesn't want to change anything. And Jessie wanted her bars as well. 
for the tacos, I wanted to make some chicken tacos. So I got two packages of the ground chicken because it was on sale. So I'm gonna hopefully just use one and then have one in the freezer for a future meal. I have to come up with lunches now because my, my hours changed at work. So one of the lunches I'm gonna make for the kids are some grilled cheese sandwiches. I still have the bread from the last grocery haul when Walmart gave me an extra loaf, which is awesome. They gave it to me for free. So I got a package of the sliced cheeses. We don't do this often. I know it's not the best for them, but at least it's something quick. I'm really running really low on panko breadcrumbs that I use for my uh, breaded chicken. And speaking of uh, meals for the week, I was completely out of mozzarella cheese. And so I definitely always wanna have one um, on hand for pizza. And plus I have two meals that I'm gonna be making these with. So I have got three. Of course, there are my taco shells. These were down to 98 cents. So I'm like, yeah, I'm getting two. <laughs> so one's probably gonna be for this week and one's in the pantry for the next time. We were running low on shampoo, so I picked one up. I'm gonna be making my pineapple fried rice this week. And it's, a, I love that recipe because it's a pantry recipe. Everything is literally in your pantry, except for the uh, green onions. And if you haven't seen that recipe, I'll link it down below. This is for the soup. I'm gonna hopefully be making some chicken noodle soup. I gotta check. And if not, if, if that's an extra meal for the week and I don't touch it, then I'll have it ready for next week. And I got two cartons of eggs. They were out of the 18 again, which I thought was kind of strange because it's two weeks in a row. But anyway, I got the 12 and I got two of them. And the last thing is Brian wanted some more toothbrushes. So I, this was actually on sale, it was only $1.50 for a package of four. So I'm like, yeah, sounds great. <laughs> anyway, so this is everything that I got at Walmart. So my total for the groceries this week is $164.37, which means that this week I only saved $15.63, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you take that amount plus last week's savings so far for this month and for the year, I've saved $91.01. So boop, there's my total. <laughs> And let's see how it's gonna continue to add up because once again, small changes can really add up to big savings. I really truly believe it. I know it for a fact for my family. So I really hope that you guys are gonna give this a try. And from those groceries and what I had on hand, I have my trusty binder here and let's go over this week's meal plan. So this week I'm making chicken noodle soup and that means that my husband is gonna be standing about three feet <laughs> from the stove until it's done. And after everyone gets a bowl or maybe two, he's gonna eat the whole thing up. <laughs> it's crazy, him and chicken noodle soup, just like my, my chocolate chip cookies, he's gonna devour it. And <laughs> if you haven't seen my chicken noodle soup recipe, I'll leave it in the eye in the sky. Next, I'm making breaded chicken and some spaghetti. I think I'm gonna also make some garlic bread. I have some leftover bread ends in the freezer. I think I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna give it a try and hopefully they come out good. Last week in my meal plan, I had my steak with fried rice and broccoli and we didn't even get to it because I had so many leftovers and I was really, really running low on essential items. So instead, I moved that meal to this week. So I've got everything on hand for that. Next is my eggs tortilla recipe. And that really, as I mentioned last week, cause it's pretty much of a weekly staple with me, is just eggs, milk, and just pantry items. So it really adds up to a big savings because it's pretty much like a breakfast for dinner type of meal. And I made it in my video where I made a whole week worth of vegetarian meals and my family had no, no idea until they saw my video. So right there I was like, score. And if you want to see that, I'll leave it in the link above. Next, I'm making butternut squash soup with biscuits. Now, Emily, my little six-year-old, she <laughs> loves butternut squash soup. In fact, she doesn't like my chicken noodle soup. She bears it. Like all kids, there's always going to be something that they don't like. And for her, it's my chicken noodle soup. But when it's butternut squash soup, she's the one rubbing it in everyone's faces. She's like, it's my favorite. <laughs> And I have a really easy biscuit recipe that I've, I haven't shared that actually. Maybe I will share it soon. If you guys wanna see it, leave a comment down below and I'll share that one. But I love the way that it ties together. 
I'm gonna make some breaded chicken with some spaghetti squash because I have two spaghetti squashes that I got from my Misfits Market box last week and I wanna use them up before they start going bad. And then of course the last day is my favorite day of the week because <laughs> I don't have to cook and my family helps me clean out everything in the fridge. It's leftover day, <laughs> that's right. So this is my meal plan for the week. This is how much I was able to save in the last two weeks. And I hope this motivates you guys to give meal planning and staying under budget a try. And let me know in the comment section down below if you're gonna join in on this savings challenge. I really hope I've motivated you to save even a little bit each week. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe and to click on that bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.